So the Engineering Challenge brings together three areas of the Navy, the aviation technicians, electronic technicians and the marine technicians. Each of them have unique skill sets and by bringing them here all together today, it allows them to see what each other does and I think that's a very important part of the day. We've got uh, certain components on the board. Uh, as a hydraulic system, we had to connect it all together in the right sequence so it works and a flight control sequence as well, so all the moving parts have to work together. Avionics wise, we've been setting up the electronics for a simulated aircraft with hydraulics and uh, flight controls. It's a little bit different to what we do back at work, but there's definitely real world skills that we can use in this environment. A lot of today is a lot of wiring for us, so this is going back to the fundamentals where we can use what we've learned to make wire repairs, set up new systems, etc. It was a pretty full-on day, but I think the satisfaction at the end when you finally turn it on and everything starts working as it should be, then that's probably the, probably the best bit of the day, I reckon. I think it's pretty important about your brief at the start, who's doing what, when are you going to do stuff. So if you plan it out correctly, then you should have no trouble at the end. The thing I love is seeing 65 people from all over Australia getting together and actually having a lot of fun. I see smiles on their faces, showcasing a bunch of skills that they can be very proud of. I like the challenge because it allows us to showcase uh, their skill set. These are the guys and girls at the squadrons who do the backbone work of uh, maintaining aircraft so that we can project that capability as required by the government. It allows them to uh, showcase their skill sets and put out there you know, what can be done.